Hey, I'm Steve Okers. <laughs> Julie Bacon, Sue Pasteur. And this is What's in the Cup. Cheers. 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 My cup is getting empty. Mine too. We, we need more <laughs> drinks. Um, so we're at Roots Brew Shop, brewing coffee and having a conversation with you about personality profiles, right? Yes. So we've gone through a couple of them. Please watch the videos ahead or uh, behind. But we're going to get into the S, which is steadiness, right? So um, celebrities that, that fall in the S, steadiness, ladies, which one, which ones come to mind for you guys? The Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. Um, to Nicole Kidman. It's kind of steady personalities. Steady. Yep. Michael J. Fox. Yep. Michelle Obama and Mother Teresa are, mm -hmm. are some of the others, right? So just um, the the idea with the S personality, right, is the good listener. They're the person that makes you feel warm when you're having coffee next to them. Like they just, they, they their interaction is just so deep, right? I yes. always, um, this is my wife. I don't know about your it's my husband, right? Yes. So they, I need more S in my life. <laughs> <laughs> if wants to friend you. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, you know, they, um, I always think of, um, you know, your favorite elementary school teacher, right? Yes. If you have a favorite elementary school teacher, they probably were an S, right? They made you feel yes. comfortable. They taught you stuff, but they just were part of like making you special, yeah, right? Yeah, it says support. They're great right. supporters. Um, they're stable. Um, they also like collaboration, so they're Absolutely. people. They're, they're people, people. Pe they're yep. people, people as well, but not as um, emotional or as enthusiastic. Maybe that's not the right word. Yep. Enthusiastic as the eyes. Um, good group builders. I think yep. you said they like to have close friends um, as opposed to being in a whole big group of a hundred people. That yep. really is their wheelhouse to have their close friends right around them. Yeah, and you know, obviously we're in the real estate space, so I always tie it to real estate agents. Yes. For me, um, in and I heard this when I was studying this stuff before is the S actually is probably one of the best real estate agents to hire. They aren't the most flashy, right? So the big teams and those kind of things usually are a D or an I. But the S is like somebody that does solid business for a long time, all sphere of influence, and it's just they're they're just good people, people, right? And they don't pressure. They don't. There's it's just trust. It's just they're yeah. They're very yep. trustworthy. Yep. Yes. Right. So anything else with the S's other than we love them and need more of them in our lives <laughs> <laughs> that you guys have to add? Um, I, one thing that we kind of talked about was an S, give, give them an opportunity to talk when you're in a situation because they're not going to come right out and yeah. interrupt like we do. Yeah, um, yes. yeah most of the I's and D's will overpower them, right? And so... And this is the person that you want to hire if you're growing a team yes. and want an admin, right? So right away, this is one of the top um, profiles that you need to be looking at if you're going to have an admin joining you. Um, you want them to be high on the S side of things, right? That they're going to help the customers that you're bringing in and selling yes. and participate and make them feel really comfortable. So you really want this person, but uh, the, the problem with, with it is most agents only last with that person, I find, for six months or a year because they don't learn how to communicate, right? Yes. So they overpower, they expect too much, and they yes. don't give time, right? One of Do the things, that? yeah, with, we talked about communication before we started this is, um, S's can see people as maybe being a little too frivolous if we're overly emotional or yep. being domineering um, because they're very steady. So learning how to communicate with folks who, um, and showing that you're genuine with them genuineness is very very yep. important yep yep so just um obviously be on the lookout for this to join your team and to grow your operation but understand with this you have to you have to be willing to calm yourself at times yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right amy, yourself, amy usually yes. says I'm, I'm more than willing to follow you but you've got to give me time to, to catch up to you, yes. <laughs> right? And they that, don't, that's it. it says that, yeah, they don't like immediate or quick change. Yep, got to give, give them time. I can be impulsive, but an S wants time to process what it is that you're telling me we're going to do next, and then like they'll get yep, on board. Most of them are on board, but you got to give them time, right? Yep. So S personality, that's, that's it, I think, for S. Um, okay. We are, again, going to post sort of a... A quick take take the disc below this and then we'd love to hear from you how you're um, communicating with an S personality if you are that like what feedback that you would have for people that aren't that, that make you feel special so that we know how to communicate better 
with you. So thank you so much for participating, learning with us, and we'd love to stay connected with you. I'm Steve Okers. Julie Bacon. Sue Pasteur. And this is What's in the Cup. We're out. <laughs>